All right, let's get started. Welcome to our webinar on customer facing analytics. Um, today, we're going to talk a bit about understanding the benefits of embedded analytics. Um, so this session would take about roughly 20 minutes. We do have Q&A options at the end, so don't feel worried to ask your questions at the end, and I will try to answer them as much as possible. Also want to inform everyone that this session is being recorded and will be made available through our website and YouTube channels for future reference. So welcome everyone. Um, here to talk about my favorite topic. My name is Geoffrey Smolders. I am the founder and managing director of Bistory. Uh, it's a company founded in 2014. Uh, myself, I'm already 42 years old, getting 43 next February. Um, I love food and a nice rum. Enjoying this afternoon, I'm going to go build my own rum workshop. Looking forward to that. But I also can talk hours about embedding and customer facing analytics, and that's why we're here for. Just a short one about Bistery. Uh, some clients at already know us are joining a session. For those who do not know us, we are a Tableau, Snowflake, and Fivetran partner. Those are technology partnerships on the right hand side. We're a team of 75 people growing to 80 uh, shortly. We're hiring uh, as fast as possible. We're in four locations, Belgium, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands and Germany. And we have about 600 plus customers that have worked with us deploying analytics at scale uh, with various technologies we are deploying. So three days, that's what I wanna talk about today. It will only take you three days on average to deploy and build your customer facing analytics strategy. We'll get back to those three days and how we do that. But I think we have to keep that number in mind because a lot of times when we have a conversation with clients about this or prospects, they always say are fearful that it will take a long time or this is very difficult. I would say it's easy, but in just three days, we have designed an approach to help you build uh, a strategy like this. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about analytics as a service, customer facing. And what does analytics as a service actually mean? Or what does embedded analytics actually mean? It is the seamless integration of your off-the-shelf analytics into applications, programs, or workflows. Whether that's a portal, whether it's an application you offer, whether it's a workflow you wanna share with your clients, Basically, we're going to take an analytic solution like Tableau in our favorite solution and build that into your application or your customer portal as a seamless integration. So why do we do this? We see five kind of important points where we see uh, the value of this coming up. There's obviously the commercial side, there's the competition, there's the experience, there's compliance, and there's time. Now, for the sake of the time today, we're also going to talk about those three topics, commercial, experience, and time. If we dive into a bit of facts and figures, um, there's a few I have noted down here. Um, currently, the market for embedded analytics is worth $36 billion. This is research done by Forrester, where they think the value of this market is worth $36 billion. We assume by 2026, it's going to be worth $77 billion. And now why is that? Because we are generating a lot of data. We're generating more data than ever and reselling and resharing that data with our customers, suppliers, or even competitors is going to be more and more important. It's going to be on top of mind for every C-level executive in the coming years. So I have a figure here that's called 1.7 megabytes. What does that mean? Well, we generate every person on earth on average generates 1.7 megabyte of data per second. Let that sink in. 1.7 megabyte per second is being generated. You have the number of 90% to the right-hand side. What does that 90% stand for? Well, in the last two years, um, of all the data we have available worldwide, since we are being able to store data, 90% of the data was generated in the last two years. So let that sink in again. All the data available worldwide, 90% of that data was generated in the last two years. There's a massive explosion of data happening, and data is, of course, important. We don't have to uh, explain that anymore. But reselling that data and sharing that back to customers is going to become a very big business. And if you look at our own business, to be very transparent, I've put in 40%. 40% 
of the deals we're doing are embedded analytics. So we are specifically targeting a lot of customers and clients today with embedded analytics solutions, and we're growing and growing in that market. So it's a big business for us, and it's also becoming a big business for clients that really, really need to go to market. So I told you we want to talk about commercials. So what is important on the commercial side of analytics as a service? Well, we have to look at the monetization side of things. So what are the three pillars of monetization? First of all, we need to justify the value of your data. What's your data worth? What kind of insights are interesting to see? Now, how, you, how do you justify the value of your data? Obviously, in some scenarios, it's very simple. In others, it's maybe a bit harder to spot. So what we also think that is important is that we can run analytics on your analytics. So if we share data with customers, and customers are looking into dashboards interactive and clicking on reports, then we can run analytics on that data to really start justifying the value of your data because we're going to pinpoint and interesting see what your customers are looking at, which insights they want to see more of, where they want to dig deeper at. And we can run analytics on top of that also with the same solution, which makes it interesting to really have that justification in there. We also want to inspire customers with use cases. Um, the best way to launch a monetization model is to do a freemium model. Now, there's some debate about this because you could say any data you give away is, is, uh, is costing you money. But if you give small teasers, samples of data with small use cases that you can share, then you can have customers feeling hungry for more, feeling hungry for more insights, or your suppliers feeling more uh, hungry for insights. And basically, out of those freemium models, you can then start building different top models on top of that, a more premium dashboard, a more self-service solution where they can find their own data, or maybe a more data sharing solution where they can just connect to your data with their own solutions uh, in their own organization. So there's different models possible. And once you define those use cases and you just define that justification, you can then start executing on those commercial models. You can start building different subscriptions, because that's what we need to go to. We need to generate recurring revenue for our business. If we go into a subscription-like model per month to give data away, that's going to be a generated standard steady stream of recurring revenue, which you can rely on. And then we can define different levels in those uh, recurring revenue models. We're happy to talk about that more in detail. We provide services around monetization models because we've done it many, many times before. So the question you need to ask yourself, is what value does your product provide? What can, I, what can I foresee in my solution? What value can I give back? Is it in supply chain where I am a packaging solution that has customers that want to understand how the packages are being shipped from a retail point of view? Am I in e-commerce and I understand what kind of products my customers are looking at so I can talk back to my suppliers? There's different values you need to understand. And then you also need to understand the question is, what are you producing? Are you only producing products? Which can be, I have a dashboard standard with some data, which I have a valuable resale model for. Or will you go to the expertise side where you can really build bespoke customer reports or customer insights based on very specific questions. Expertise comes very interesting in the compliance world, but also uh, you'll see that your more premium customers will require expertise. So basically you can go from selling a product to selling a service. We see customers that are really building consultancy teams as a service to resell bespoke questions back to their customers. So it could be both. An example of this is Boeing. So Boeing has uh, embedded uh, a dashboard in their publicly facing website. So this is their free site. There is also a commercial model behind it for more insights. But basically what they're showing here as an example is the air cargo um, overview they have with the data they have available. So they can look at, okay, the air cargo growth has been 4%. They can look at the world trade growth. They can look at how many deliveries they did. And they tell that story seamlessly embedded within their website. We can obviously dive deeper and have more insights. But this is a nice example of what I would call a freemium model of sharing some strong insights they have available in a very interactive way. And that puts me to the next point. 
the experience is important because once you have a commercial site figured out, you want the experience to be as seamless as possible. What do I mean with that? I think you want to tell the story you'd like to see stick with customers because customer stickiness is important. We're not only trying to sell them data, we're also trying to connect them to our brand. Our brand is important. How can we keep customers um, uh, so highly sticking to our brand? How can we be satisfied? How can we embed success programs together with that storytelling of their data? And if you move to that, is that we want to offer them a seamless experience. And as you saw with the booing example, the design is a fully integrated experience. Your customer does not care about technology. They do not care that there's this Tableau or any other technology behind it. It just has to work seamlessly in the organization. So we need to provide a technology that can do that. Obviously, Tableau is great at that. We also need to do that storytelling with a great narrative um, so that people are engaged and they are really interested in to heal the buildup and the interaction has to be it has to be there as much as possible. I'll jump back to the brewing example. And you'll see that all those boxes are ticked because you cannot see that this is a Tableau dashboard, but everything below here is Tableau. And I will show you a live demo in a bit, but you will see that there's a slide deck coming up and, and there's a story mode here telling, and there's a lot of interactivity, which the, the dashboard is pushing to click some icons and get some more insights. So all the boxes are ticked as an experience point of view to really have that seamless experience. Another example, TU Delft, one of our customers, is doing analytics uh, within their website. Uh, this is again Tableau showing student population, uh, PhD population, personal staff, and so on. But you also see the interactivity coming back below. And more buttons to dive deeper in personnel diplomas or look at any rates of the master programs they have. So really that seamless, it feels like a website look and feel, but it has a lot of interactivity is important. And the last one is time. Uh, we have to look at time. Um, what, what's this going to take to go to the market? And that's basically the question. How fast can you go to market? That's one side of the question, but how fast can you adapt to changes? This comes to the builder why question we often get. Do we build our own analytic solution or we buy off-the-shelf software like Trouble to do it? And of course, I said already the three days are important, but it's really important that we can build something uh, that's built to scale and adapt. And that's important because, first of all, you want to have a solution that can do very simple analytics, very easy reports, very standard, even get exports available in Excel if necessary because those questions still pop up. To more complex analysis, you want to go from simple KPIs to um, a more rich dashboard analysis and maybe to a self-service solution where you want to connect to the data yourself and drag and drop, which I will show you in a quick demo in a bit. Change. You'll get feedback from your customers. As I said in the beginning, you'll look at the analytics on the analytics. You'll get feedback that they want to see other insights. And you want a solution that's easy to implement changes. You want a solution like Tableau that can change the dashboard in just a few hours and up that change and push it back to the, to the platform without having to go through a whole development cycle. And you want manageability. It has to be seamless as your users grow. Because what we see with these projects, they always start quite small, a couple of hundreds of users, a couple of maybe ten time, tens of users that start. We have currently clients that run between 50 and 150 users embedded within their platform. And we have customers that are going above 300,000 users scaling with Tableau back to back and that's what you want as a solution to be able to do without having the hassle of going to development cycles and complex IT infrastructure discussions. So that brings me to a demo. How does this work? How does this actually look and feel and see? And this is a free demo you can provide yourself. So I will put it in the chat. It's on gallery.bistory.com. Let me just click it open and see if I can screen share correct. Uh, that we have still the correct uh, application showing. One second, uh, there we go, embedding gallery, yeah. So basically, um, this is a free website we designed uh, that is showing how easy it is to do the embedding. It's not built as a showcase to be super pretty or super slick, that's the UX design, but still it's cleanly integrated because we see the website here, 
we see a few buttons. We have some information and on the left side, we have analytics. So if I hover over this, you will see that very simple. This is an interactive tableau dashboard embedded cleanly in this look and feel. I can click, I can interact, I can do things with it uh, and I can uh, totally uh, have more information. There's another dashboard here below. But what we need to show here is that the embedding is so clean and so uh, seamless from the experience point of view is that if you will see how embedding works, if you click this button, we can actually show you that what is table content is the purple one and what is web, regular web content could be your portal, could be your website, is basically uh, your pink uh, squared solution. So you will see that there's no distinction between how Tableau is embedded within there and with the HTML content, it's just seamless. And we also provided a sample um, how to embed this with some code in there. There's even more. Um, I can show you some interactivity possibilities. I might see an error here, if I'm not mistaken, could work. See, there we go. I have to refresh this one. Apologies for that one. Always in working demos. So you will see here that we also have possibilities to interact from an API point of view. Now, uh, the API means is that we can use buttons on the website to interact with what Tableau is showing. So the left-hand side here again is Tableau. If I hover over this, I have uh, visualizations on furniture, office supplies and technology as a sample. And you can see the filters are and categories are here now. So if I change my category to office supplies only, that will interact with the VIS on the left side. I can segment it to corporate only and the VIS will change and update on the left side controlled by buttons on the website. So if you want to have that more seamless experience from your website, perfectly possible. Um, you can also have a month selected on that interacts with your website again. So I selected a month, which then pushes uh, push to Wikipedia shows now a web page passed through this parameter October, which I pushed on and shows the website just to show what is possible here. But also we can take it a step further. I talked about simple analytics to premium analytics where we can actually say, no, I would like to edit that visualization. And then we get a pop-up screen of a small self-service editing. And from this, I can actually interact with the data from the website and can say, look, I'm basically interested in this profit. Uh, and sales um, by segment. Show me Tableau what I can do with this. Give me a simple bar chart and maybe uh, why not color it by profit. Just to show you how easy it is to build your own visualization in just a few clicks and have the interactivity available for your customers where they can even save that if they would have access to do so. The last thing I won't go deep in, but it will also be shown here is that we also show for more technical people in this webinar, how user provisioning works, how integration works with your applications, because also there, the technical part is important. You don't want to create users manually. You want your users to be able to be generated by an application. So if you go to the gallery, you can actually really complete a form here, register a user name, and you will see how seamlessly on the back end that user is added to Tableau server and it's just working uh, as a demo uh, just to provide you some insights. We also will talk about trusted tickets, content, role of security, how you see different applications possible, but you have to be logged in for that one. And we'll also talk about architecture. So feel free to have really a look at the gallery. Uh, it shows you a lot of capabilities and shows you how simple it is to work with Tableau. Jumping back to uh, to my slides, I'm sure that we have the the right slide like showing there we go is those three days i talked about we only can do it in three days so bister has designed an embedded lab where in those three days we will help you set up strategy models we'll help you design architecture we'll deploy a real world environment where we st stack performance testing even for thousands of users and show you how fast it could run we'll design an embedded demo dashboard within your portal, we'll embed it in your portal, we'll deep dive on scalability and security. Some certain people cannot see other data than, than others. We will show you how to, to really make that security tight, uh, tightly secured from different customers. And it's gonna be up and running, ready to bring to production. So this is a prototype session, but it's really scaled to deploy uh, to production where we tick all the boxes and work interactively with your teams. 
Um, there's a video on, on the data monetization strategy and the embedded lab, which you can find in YouTube. We'll be sending the link in a follow-up email where you can take a look at. But really in just three days, we can do this for you. Whether it's with integration with your data warehouse in a Snowflake platform, whether it's Tableau only, with different uh, other integrations, don't you worry, we have lots of experience and we can help you out. And that's it for this session. Um, so if there are any questions, um, I am open to see them in the Q&A. Uh, and apologies for the webcam not being available, but uh, for some reason I got a hardware failure on sharing my webcam. But uh, happy to answer any questions you would have. You can type the questions in the chat or type them in the questions uh, chat also. Again, we will be recording the session as I told you and we'll be sharing afterwards if you want to quickly review. Well, I don't see any questions popping in, so that means we're going to end this session. And uh, if you still have follow-up questions you want to direct uh, us on, you can reach us at sales at bistery.com or you can watch me on LinkedIn, send me a direct message. I'm happy to talk to you and I thank you for your attention.